<laughs> We're using the Fafa grill again today. I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so here I am getting the canopy set up and I'm just gonna apologize now. This is a long, a lot of time lapses. Basically, I took the entire event, it was about an hour and a half of footage I had, and it's compressed down into about 10 minutes worth of footage. So hopefully you understand. A few of my coworkers helped me get the canopy set up. It's much easier to get done with more than one person. Now to unload the grill. Easy peasy with the ramp. All right, time to get the charcoal going. I used just about a whole bag of the lump of charcoal, that cowboy brand lump charcoal. I moved it out away from the canopy. And yes, I used lighter fluid, fight me. Got it going. Nice. All right, back to business. First things first, I tell you guys all the time, whenever the grill or when the grill is warming up, I prefer to cook the veggie burgers when the grill is at a lower temperature. Therefore, I'm not wasting that heat. And also I am using it to actually cook the veggie burgers. There was some chicken I had to warm up. Those were chicken wings, like wing dings, and then some beans. Also, taking advantage of the fact that the grill is not burning too hot just yet. I kind of said screw it with using the tongs and just dug in there with my hands, a gloved hand, and the wings and the beans because I knew they weren't warm enough yet. That right there, that's a pressurized water tank or sprayer. It comes in handy a little later. Checking the chicken. Now the veggie burgers are done. That was 24 veggie burgers I did. And once I finished with the veggie burgers, I moved the chicken to a hotter area of the grill. Now I'm gonna get some burgers started. This was 20 or 24 burgers that I got started. Right, finishing up with adding burgers. Now to get some hot dogs loaded. I think that was 24, that was 30 uh, burgers. That was two, excuse me, hot dogs. That was two and a half packs of hot dogs. Wings are done. Stirring up the beans, making sure they don't burn. Time to move the burgers over to a hotter section of the grill. This is where that sprayer comes in handy. That sprayer basically ended up acting as a fire extinguisher because of the fact that the grill grate is so close to the charcoal, the grease from the burgers definitely sparked up, you know, flames and it was it was pretty high flames and fire. Now, if you notice, I closed the inlet, the vent on the right side, the close side to where you can see, because there was wind, it was very windy and the wind was blowing directly into the grill, stoking the fire. Again, you see I'm using that sprayer as a fire extinguisher. Beans are almost done. Finish up these hot dogs real quick. So this event was actually for my work. It was just like an end of summer cookout type deal and uh, they asked me to cook, so I had no problem with that. Now, 
I tried to get ahead. I all told I ended up cooking. It was 24 veggie burgers, 80 beef burgers, 108 hot dogs, and a partridge in a pear tree. But you see, everyone came out at one particular time. Lunch was supposed to be served at noon, so everyone came out pretty much at noon. And you see that initial rush, that was a rush of probably 20, 30 people. And I was able to stay ahead of the rush, stay ahead of the crowd. Having those 20, 30 burgers that were done and the 20 or 30 hot dogs that were done ahead of time saved my butt. Basically, at this point, I'm trying to, to keep ahead, keep ahead of the rush, stay ahead of the folks that are coming out. Here again, I'm using that, uh, that sprayer and it worked really well as a fire extinguisher. I had plenty of people asking me what I had in that bottle and it was just water. So this side of the grill where I'm putting the hot dogs on was a cooler side of the grill because of the fact that the wind was coming in from the other direction. That was the cooler side. So you see I'm just loading up the grill with burgers, loading up with hot dogs. And I mean, there's 20 burgers at a time and uh, 30 hot dogs at a time. I definitely was able to, to keep ahead. There again, I'm using that fire extinguisher of sorts. It worked really well for that. Getting a the lid closed also helped quell the fire, but as soon as I opened it up, flame on. You see that line off to my left? It never really died down. Once people started coming out, they came out and as soon as I was cooking it, they were taking the food. So I stayed ahead of the crowd and was able to take care of everything. This is pretty much almost the end of the burgers. Finishing up cooking those hot dogs. Getting the rest of the hot dogs opened up and spread out on the grill. Now, these are the last of the burgers. This is the last 20 or so burgers. And I was happy when I saw this was the last, the end of it. I was hot. You can see the sweat coming off of my shirt or through my shirt. I was ready to be done at this point. Now, mind you, I've been standing there for probably a little over an hour. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Now you see I'm taking the hot dogs and the burgers. There was a bowl, a, a catering pan actually, right behind me. And as the food was coming off of the grill, I was just loading it into the catering pan. And the folks who were serving everything up were pulling right out of that pan and serving the folks who were waiting in line. So now that the hamburgers are done and the grease is slightly lower there's not as much of a fire and this is the last of the hot dogs that i'm finishing up you see my sentiments I, I take a big sigh once i realize that that's this is it this is the end and uh that was it all right so there you have it another event in the books another job well done I got plenty of compliments plenty of kudos for taking care of that a lot of people were really happy that they weren't the ones that were on the grill cooking and it was me so I had a really good time whenever I do events when I'm sitting at work and you know can can help out my co-workers and and also bring you guys along I really have a good time the only things that I of course noticed with that grill of I mentioned it in the video in the little voiceover the fact that the grill grate or the grate was as close as it is to the charcoal, the burgers, greasy, lots of fire. Really, really glad that I had a water tank, that tank that I put the water in, and it's a little pressurized sprayer. That thing came in handy. It was my fire extinguisher. It probably, I think I probably went through a half a gallon of water, and it really helped keep the temperatures down so I didn't have a runaway fire. I usually always try to keep some water with me. I had a fire, I had a bad experience with the fire in a early on-site cook. I think I've told you guys about that before, but from then on, I've always made sure to have water with me to make sure that when or if the fire starts to run away, you can knock it down. 
cannot stress that enough. If you're doing on-site cooks, make sure you have some water with you. Other than that, grill performed flawlessly. One of the other things I would try to keep in mind or, or, or try to prepare for, as you saw, the wind was blowing uh, right to left and it was going right through the grill. So that helped, unfortunately, stoke my fire. Even though I closed off the vents, that is probably just gonna be something I'll have to deal with in the future how i have to keep it in mind there is one vent down at the bottom closer to the coals and there is another or two vents up at the top more or less kind of as an exhaust on the lid they did actually you know it turning it down or closing them off i did actually notice a difference so that was pretty cool aside from those two things i think that grill is phenomenal you guys saw I had plenty of room to actually cook a lot of food. I had room to warm up those beans. I had room to warm up that chicken. Then once I moved the chicken and the beans off of the grill, I was like, it was, it was, it was crazy. I only cooked 20 burgers at a time. I only cooked 30 hot dogs at a time, but I could have far, I could have cooked more than that, probably 40 or 50 burgers at a time had I just been cooking burgers only. I just can't say enough about that, that grill. I really like it. Anyway, thank you guys so very much as always for watching. If you have any other questions or anything specific pertaining to this particular cook, please make sure you leave the comment or question down below. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the notification bell on. Anyway, thank you guys again as always, and I'll see you next time.